Leafhoppers are one of the most common pests that cause damage in vineyards. Each farmer needs to know some things about the life cycle, potential damage, and treatment options to develop their protocols in dealing with this pest. There are several types of leafhoppers. In this area, we most commonly deal with the western grape leafhopper, Erythronura elegantula, and the variegated leafhopper, Erythronura variabilis. The Virginia creeper leafhopper, Erythronura zigzag, is found in Northern California vineyards and identified all the way into Pope Valley. It is important to correctly identify which type you have to determine the best management approach. The UCIPM program or the CDFA both have great examples to help with identification. Adult leafhoppers overwinter in reproductive diapause until springtime. The female begins to develop eggs once feeding on grapevine foliage after bud break. They will soon begin to deposit eggs on the underside of more mature basil leaves. These appear as a 0.8 millimeter colorless bean-shaped blister. The development of the leafhopper is highly dependent upon temperature and thus the first brood may take 20 days to hatch while subsequent broods may develop much more quickly as the season warms up. Areas such as Napa will typically see two full life cycles per season with three possible in a warm year. Warmer zones may see several more. The nymphs will molt five times before becoming an adult. The final molting will stick to the leaf and can be easily seen. The adult leafhopper is about three millimeters and is light yellow with a distinct brown pattern and dark eye spots. The feeding of the leafhopper is the main cause of concern for the farmer. They feed on the underside of the leaf using piercing mouthparts to suck the contents from the leaf cells. This results in a white spot on the outer side of the leaf. Many of these spots can appear as stippling and can negatively impact photosynthesis. If the feeding gets out of control, leaves can even dry up and fall off. This ultimately results in delayed ripening and lowered fruit quality. The secondary problem to consider is the nuisance leafhoppers can be for field workers, especially at harvest. When the vines are disturbed as the fruit is picked, the leafhoppers will hop or fly out. As the workers are moving quickly to get the fruit picked and off to the winery, a high population of leafhoppers flying about can be very irritating as they fly into one's face or clothing. Monitoring for leafhoppers is typically done by counting the nymphs on leaves. They are usually found on the underside of the newest, fully expanded leaves with the first instar found on basil leaves and later broods further up in the canopy. It is important to develop a sampling strategy that considers your specific site and threshold tolerance. Scouting should start in the late spring and continue on at regular intervals throughout the growing season. Counts should be done on several vines throughout a block with special note to areas of greater occurrence. Managing the leafhopper population is important in maintaining the health of your vineyard. As they are a very common vineyard pest, it is good to have a plan in place which includes your threshold, monitoring, and control practices. Keeping general vine health and balance is key in combating many pest issues. Farming practices that lead to overly vigorous vines should be avoided as that can exacerbate pest populations. Leafhopper numbers can also be significantly reduced by an early removal of basil leaves. Several species, including anagris wasps, lacewings, big-eyed bugs, minute pirate bugs, damsel bugs, and predaceous mites are common predators of the leafhopper. These are often already found in your vineyard or can be available commercially free to introduce. Maintaining a proximity to a natural habitat encourages these beneficials to thrive. Should you still have a significant leafhopper problem, there are also several chemical controls available. The UCIPM website is a great resource for information on beneficial predators as well as chemical combatants for leafhoppers in the vineyard.